Good morning, Robin. Yeah, you know, this is uh, now the fourth day of this search. Up till now, they've really been searching this in the seas uh, of Malaysia to the north and to the east. Now they've expanded that search. They're now looking in the sea to the west of Malaysia. And they also, the Vietnamese told us today that they are probably going to start searching on the ground in the mountains and the jungles of Vietnam. This morning, the frantic search for the missing Boeing 777 is expanding. Reports that the search now includes the thick jungles of Vietnam, focusing on densely populated areas, forests, and mountains. The search will be based on the projected flight path right up to Ho Chi Minh. Malaysian authorities also say military radar suggests the flight may have tried to turn back and are now expanding the search to include the area just west of Malaysia as well. But why would the plane turn around? The aircraft underwent maintenance just 12 days before its takeoff that Saturday morning. The weather conditions were ideal and the plane was flying at 35,000 feet, the safest part of the flight. Most of the problems occur with airplanes either on takeoff or landing. But when they're up at altitude, away from everything, up well above the weather, the autopilot's on, the airplane, the computer's flying the airplane, that is a really, really safe place to be. If the crew and passengers were incapacitated and the plane was flying on autopilot, it could have ended up anywhere. So the search continues in the South China Sea. 34 helicopters, 40 ships, even submarines desperately looking for clues. The plane was tracked by radar as it soared out into the ocean, but that commercial radar only reaches about 250 miles into the sea. The plane does have black boxes which can beep a series of pings, although the waters are shallow, 165 feet deep. Submarines and special ships need to be within 5 to 10 miles to hear it. And now a Colorado satellite imaging company is launching a website asking the public to search as well, watching high-resolution images pixel by pixel. There were three Americans on Flight 370, and another American businessman, Greg Candelaria, was a scheduled to be on the board. The only reason for this trip being skipped, this one time, very unusual for me, is simply because I've had back-to-back long-haul trips. It turned out to be the best decision in my life. Now the family members are really getting frustrated here in Beijing. Some of them we saw this morning getting in the bus and heading over to the airport to head down to Malaysia. They want some kind of change. There have been so many plane crashes in this world, but never has a plane been lost for so long without any clues. Robin. Okay, Bob, thank you.